Okay, I just got a phone call, so I just disrupted the first part of this. Maybe I can make it in two. Alright, so you loosen up all the nuts on all of this, and then you want to pull this until she gets to 71 foot-pounds. You can see it here. I'm just going to keep going until I get to 71. Right about there. Alright, so there's 71. And then... I would mark it. You can see it there on the side and on top. It's not the best mark, but I can see where it's at. Okay. And then you loosen it up quarter turn every time go back to 71 foot pounds 71 loosen it and every time you're checking your mark to make sure it's not moving more 71 quarter turn 71 and my mark's still in the same spot so that one's fine now I can tighten that up to 55 foot pounds I got this here O'Reilly's or AutoZone. I can't remember which. I've had this for a while. Go to 55. I'm going to go extra. I go 56. I'd rather have extra. This is something I do not want to come loose later. There it is. Now we'll do the There we go. Now we'll do the injector, or the, uh, we'll do intake. This is 14 thousandths. So you get your filler gauge. Which I seem to have misplaced. Oh man, come on. Did I leave it in the last one that I just did? No. Where are my filler gauges? Give me a second. Oh, they're on the, my tire. Apparently, I just held on to it while I hop down. So I want to go to, actually, we're going to do the Jake brake. It's already set on it. For the Jake, it's .276. So what I'll do here, I have a lot of filler gauges. What you want to do is just start grabbing them until you get to 276. There you go. And that's inch. Make sure you get inch. And I, that also I bought at AutoZone. So what we're going to do with this, since it, I don't want to separate my... You always have to separate my filler gauges because it's already set from the last Jake break I just did. What you want to do is lift this Jake all the way so it sits back against the cam. You see that? You want to push on it so it sits back against the cam. And that's why it's such a big clearance. And then you stick this in between top of the valve. Loosen it up until it'll go. There it went. Okay, then we'll tighten her up until it has some drag on it. There it is right there. We got the drag. Perfect. Then we're going to tighten that to, it's a 13 millimeter. This calls for 14 foot pounds. I'm going to go uh, 15. Actually, 16, just to be safe. I am not letting this stuff come apart on me. Oh, crap, it's not a... There we go. Yeah, that's more like 16 or 17, but that's my choice. And every one that I've done, 
I need to mark it so I know I did it. And not only that, this is my last one. I really want to go inside and have some lunch. So I'm going to be trying to go pretty fast through this. All right. Now I need to separate my filler gauges. We're going to be doing 13 or uh, 14 thousandths for the intake. There we are, 14 thousandths. Like I said, everything I have came from AutoZone or O'Reilly's. So I got nothing fancy, no ordered parts, nothing. This is just making it work with what I had and do have. You want to get fancy with stuff, go right ahead. But I'm happy with what I have. So you want just enough drag. You can see that. Let me get my other hand out of the way. See, I got just enough drag. I'll keep tightening it just enough to where it's got drag in it, but not too much. That's way too much. That's not enough. Boy, this thing's finesse. There we go, right there. See that? All right, I'll leave that in there. Now I gotta tighten her up to 19.